Oh, she wildin', she wildin', wildin', she do a thing, thing. Oh, she wildin', wildin', she do a thing, thing. Oh, What's up guys? So last week I did a get ready with me story time video and I didn't really show how I did my hair. I kind of just curled it and took off my headscarf. So today I'm going to be doing the step by step how I got the two braids slick back ponytail look. It's very simple. You don't need that many things. You also don't have to attach a ponytail. You could just do like a bun or just leave your regular hair or whatever. But yeah, so we're going to get right into it. If you don't know how to braid, you don't have to do the two braids down the back. You could just slick it to the side. But um, about three weeks ago, I got my hair cut and I got bangs because my leave out was a hot mess. So because the hair is so short up here from the bangs, I like to braid it to the back to where they won't fly away if the wind is blowing when I go outside. So all we need for this is a wig brush, a regular brush, a rat tail comb. I like the ones with the metal rat tail, I guess that's what I would call it. A edge brush, and this is like the dual comb and brush situation and some edge booster with the um, hold power of five. I was trying to figure out how they worded it, but with the hold power of five, and I used two bobby pins. Like I said, I got bangs, so my hair is like really short right here, so I bobby pin that down, but you really only need one if you're not doing that. So, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, my hair is already parted down the middle Kind of, I don't think it's straight. I'm not really sure. What I do is I take the rat like this on my nose because that's like, should be the middle of your face. And I kind of see where it leads me and I do it that way. And then I look. Just making sure it is straight. Oh, oh, that's a little crooked. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and part it again on this side. Oop. And then we're just gonna make sure that that part is straight. Looks straight enough to me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna brush this down to make sure whenever I start my hair, I don't get any flyaways. And I'm just brushing that to the back. Hold up. I need to raise this. Ow! Uh, why is doing it? Okay guys, so I went on to move the camera up to a better angle. So while I'm braiding, you can see a little bit better. And another thing that I wanted to go ahead and like note was that I haven't flat ironed my hair since I got it done three weeks ago. Um, he washed and gave me a blowout and cut it and everything. So I'm also going to put his information down below because I absolutely love my hairstylist. He's amazing, located in Houston. And now I'm just taking this and cutting it into the three parts and I'm starting the braid. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So taking it, parting it. Ugh. That don't look straight. So now that I've got that done, those are the two braids. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera back down some because it being that high, it's just not even necessary. Okay, not even necessary anymore. Um, so the next step is just taking it and brushing it back. I know people who do their edges first. That's just not even really me because I don't do a lot, a lot of baby hairs. Um, so it's something that can be done after I've already done my ponytail and everything because it's actually my baby hairs. It's not like big hairs that I'm going to swoop or anything. So I'm taking this into a ponytail in the back and I'm going to figure out how to turn around so you all can see the next part. 
because it's very important. Okay. I feel like we all lose our hair ties. I can't tell you how many hair ties I've lost. Okay, but I really don't see it. So I found my hair tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush to the back. You can put a little edge booster in the back if you wanna make sure that this part at the back slicks up correctly. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really nice tight ponytail. Yep, that's that. So now I'm gonna take the ponytail. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn around and then I'm gonna check the camera to make sure it's good before I continue the rest. Um, if all you were doing were the two braids and the slick back, you could literally just do a bun, attach braid hair and do a bun or anything else. Cause now I'm about to take my track and we're gonna wrap it around a braid and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the camera's set up correctly for when I turn all the way around so you can all seat correctly so at this point I've turned all the way around and I have a little black elastic rubber band to put at the end of the braid so we're gonna go ahead and braid it stuck into so I'm gonna take my um, bobby pin and take my track. And the track is actually folded in half. So the part where it's not the opening, not where you have the two, but you have the U from where it flips over. I'm gonna take the bobby pin and stick it in the little hole right there. So that's in. Then, I take it and put it into the rubber band. Like so, like that. And then we take it and we start wrapping. And we just start wrapping. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ooh. So after you've kind of started that motion, you can go ahead and turn around, which is what I'm about to do. If I can't, ugh. I like to turn around cause I like to see what I'm doing. It's kind of easier for me to go fast if I turn around and I'm just wrapping it in the circular motion all the way around that braid, all the way up to the top. And we're just going around and around all the way up to the top. You kind of want to make sure that the two tracks are not separating too far away from each other, that it's still together as you're going up and up. around and around and you just keep going till you run out of track now hold up Then once you get pretty much almost to the top, you can put it back to the back to make sure that you're getting the whole braid effect up the braid. And we just keep going and going. We're almost done. Okay, so we've run out of track. I personally just take the end of wherever I was and I take my comb or my brush or whatever and comb it out to make sure it's straight and it's not gonna give me no mess. And in the direction that I was turning in, I'm going to take it 
and start wrapping. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around so you all can see this. Ah! You can stay right here. Take it <laughs> and just wrap it around. Now this is the part where you can use got to be glue spray and spray this to make sure it stays. I can, you can use edge glue too. You really can do whatever you want. You can just tie it really tight and put a bobby pin in it. But I just keep going around until we run out of hair. Keep going. This is usually where I'd spray the spray or get my edge booster. But for today's purposes, I'm not going outside, so it shouldn't be moving. I'm gonna just keep going. All right, so now that that is done, um, I'm just gonna kind of go back over my edges. They're not really doing too bad compared to what they were yesterday because I did it, my hair yesterday. So I kind of just get the edge booster and do like a nice little swoop. I don't like them too, too big. And I kind of don't do them around my whole edge. I just do the one in the front and then the one right here. And then I follow behind with my finger and I also use the comb to make sure that it still has, like each strand has its own individual like space to shine. I don't want them to all be clumped up with, on, with and on top of each other. So I kind of just do that like so like that you can also go like in here to make sure that the edge booster that you put there doesn't kind of turn white or clump up you want to make sure it's all all the product is brushed in and together um another thing that i'm going to do is right here where i had the, that bang where those two pieces are sticking up i do know that they're there um they're probably sticking up while i was turned around doing it but i'm just going to go ahead and brush and make sure that that's down as well because I know that's another part that sticks up. And that's something that I actually will put edge booster spray on because I really don't like it because I feel like once I use edge booster spray once, I have to keep using it. And then after a while, I have to wash my hair like consecutively more than what I usually would have to do if I just use a different edge booster or edge control because it's like so sticky. And I feel like when I use edge booster or anything else, like I can go from a low ponytail one day to a high ponytail or a bun the next day. And I just feel like I can't do that without washing my hair while using the um, edge booster. So I went on and I went on and combed this out at the top and I made sure that I brushed those two hairs down in the back. After it lays down for a moment, if you do use the edge booster spray, you can take the bobby pin out. I'm just gonna leave it there for extra security cause who gonna pop me by the bobby pin? Nobody. So this is the final look. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.